prove that prove that the gravitational the gravitational potential the gravitational potential at a distance r small r at a distance small r from at a distance small r from a body of mass capital m is v equal minus gm by r v equal minus g capital m by r where capital g is the gravitational constant in diagram capital m is the mass of a given body at the point o this is the given body of mass capital m and we consider a test body of unit mass which is at the point d that is at infinity or infinite distance from the given body m prime is equal to 1 that means uh, this is the test body of unit mass means this test body has mass m prime equal 1 at the point d at infinity means the distance of the point d from the point o is infinity x equal infinity now the test body of unit mass is brought from uh, this point d is brought from infinity means it is brought from uh, the point d to the point a the body is brought from the point d to capital a the test body of unit mass is brought from the point d to capital a and x equal small r at the point a means the distance of the point a from o is small r m prime equal 1 and this is the distance small r of the point a from the given body uh, of mass capital m and uh, during this motion of this taste body from infinity to the point a this taste body of unit mass will pass through this stage body of unit mass will pass through two intermediate points C and B. Same taste body having mass m prime equal 1 means stage body of unit mass will pass through two intermediate points C and B before reaching the point A. And distance of the point C from O is x. That's why x equal x at the point C. And small displacement of the test body of unit mass from the point C to B is dx. dx, dx is the small displacement. dx is the small displacement of uh, the test body of unit mass from the point C to B. And in this case, the test body of unit mass experiences gravitational force of attraction which is i i equal fg as the test body has a unit mass that's why it experiences gravitational force of attra attraction which is i i means gravitational field intensity at the point c means gravitational force of attraction experienced by the test body of unit mass to find the gravitational potential to find the gravitational potential at the point A, to find gravitational potential at the point A, that means V equal question mark at the point A, at a distance small r, at a distance r, from a given body, from a given body of mass capital M, from a given body of mass capital M, a test body of unit mass, a test body of unit mass that means m prime equal 1, that is 
m prime equal 1 m prime is the mass of test body which is 1 is brought from is brought from infinity is brought from infinity means from the point d to that point a to that point a and to that point a capital a and during this entire motion of the test body from the point d to a the test body of unit mass the test body of unit mass that means m prime equal 1 will pass through two intermediate points pass through the two intermediate points c and b pass through the two intermediate points c and b c and then b respectively the test body of unit mass will pass through two intermediate points c and b respectively now the small work done now the small work done in bringing small work done in bringing the test body of unit mass that is m prime equal 1 small work done in bringing the test body of unit mass m prime equal 1 from the point c to b for a small displacement dx small work done in bringing the test body of unit mass from c to b for small displacement dx is dw dw equal gravitational force of attraction experienced by the test body of unit mass at the point c test body of unit mass into small displacement we know that work done is the product of force and displacement therefore dw is the gravitational force of attraction experienced by the test body of unit mass into small displacement from the point c to b equal fg dx now as the test body has unit mass that's why gravitational force of attraction fg it should be denoted by i test body has a unit mass m prime equal 1 and uh, if test body is moved from c to b for small displacement dx then small work done dw equal f g dx which is i dx in this case gravitational force of attraction f g is denoted by capital i or gravitational field intensity because test body has unit mass in place of f g you can write i dx since i equal f g which is the gravitational field intensity at the point c due to the given body of mass capital m which is the gravitational field intensity at the point c due to the given body of mass capital m and i equal gm divided by x square putting the expression of i we get dw equal gm by x square dx So, due to this given body, mass capital M at the point O, if we uh, uh, the point the distance of the point C is x, and gravitational field intensity at the point C is i, which acts from C to B towards left, and work done will be F G D X. In place of F G, we can write i, so we get i D X. And in place of y, we can write gm by x square. dw equal gm by x square dx. The total work done, total work done in bringing, the total work done in bringing the test body of unit mass, test body of unit mass, under bracket m prime equal 1, from infinity, 
means the point D from infinity means the point D to that point A is total work done in bringing the test body of unit mass from infinity to that point A is W equal integration DW infinity to R. Infinity is lower limit, R is upper limit. This is the given body. We can draw the diagram again to explain. M is the mass of the given body and a test body of unit mass m prime equal 1 which is at the point d means which is at the infinity and this test body will be brought to the point a in the gravitational field of the given body of mass capital m in this case test body uh, is uh, moved from the point d to a means from infinity to the point a in this case total work done will be integration dw x equal infinity to r integration dw not integration dx x equal r is the final limit here dx uh, we have to make a correction it should be dw equal integration gm by x square dx infinity to r well, now gm is constant, we can bring gm outside integration. Integration infinity to r x to the power minus 2 dx equal gm under third bracket x to the power minus 1 by minus 1 bracket close infinity to r. Now minus 1 uh, is brought outside. And now using this formula, integration x to the power n dx equal x to the power n plus 1 divided by n plus 1. This formula of integration is used. And uh, that's why we get integration x to the power minus 2 will be x to the power minus 1 by minus 1. Now minus 1 is brought outside the bracket minus gm 1 by x infinity to r because x to the power minus 1 means 1 by x minus gm putting upper limit first 1 by r minus 1 by infinity. r is upper limit that's why we can put r in place of x first. Therefore w equal minus gm by small r. This is the total work done in bringing unit mass from infinity to the point A. This work done W is the measure of this work done W is the measure of gravitational measure of gravitational potential V at the point A from a given body of mass capital M at a distance r from a given body of mass capital M. Therefore, V equal W, therefore V equal minus Gm by R. Finally, we get V equal minus Gm by R, small r, Gm by small r. So, this is, this is the gravitational potential. This is the gravitational potential at the point A at a distance r at a distance r from the body of mass capital M from the body of mass capital M. Now we can draw a diagram to explain again this is the raised body of mass capital M or given body of mass capital M at the point O. Now at the point A we have to find, uh, already we have found uh, gravitational potential V equal question mark. This is the distance, R is the distance of the point A from O. And this body is given body of mass capital M and due to this body, at a distance R at the point A, uh, gravitational potential V will be minus Gm by R.